I would like to welcome everybody. Uh, we are very excited about this helpathon. It's like an informal gathering of uh, people from different backgrounds that come together to uh, see how they could address specific questions raised by researchers. I'm glad that the management of the BPRC gave the green light to Jeffrey and his colleagues to organize this helpathon. We are trying to find answers uh, for the transition to animal-free research. For the next two hours we have an agenda that is fully empty because you will fill it. Whatever happens is the only thing that could have. Whoever comes are the right people. I'm going to invite you to check in all of you online, to hear your voice. So there are questions related to the research of the brain, the lung and the liver. Well, I came here to get some help in setting up a 3D culture system for uh, uh, liver cells. I came to this community with the question, is the time right to put an immune system into a lung organoid model? I like to talk to people from different backgrounds and it always provides you a different perspective. They, they ask you questions that you normally don't think about because you know you you have your uh, own uh, tunnel that you look into and then then this this really shines the light out of it it's a nice atmosphere everyone is here to help you and uh, yeah they're all uh, very friendly there is a charm to this complexity what kind of challenge you have got for me i'm on my way sometimes researchers stay longer with sticking to certain type of models. And you do not go to a conference on alternatives. You, you just said something important there. Here we are in the Studio 2. Here I'll go to Kiko Chat. And this is the question we're currently discussing. And here we write our report. It being online, it's, it's easier to uh, commit yourself. Uh, you don't need to travel and you can quite easily uh, with a few clicks, you're in the middle of a meeting. So you can easier follow more discussions and contribute to different discussions. At 7, we meet again in the briefing room. I'm very happy that Eva said it's almost 5 because I have to go and pick up my kids. It feels like being uh, part of the, the, the team and it feels safe. Got over 10 minutes, is this clear? Okay. This 2020 Helpathon Invites to emulate Precious words and some open advice Inspiring us to co-create We go in the mode of imagination. That mode helps as well to share knowledge. I can even imagine the model being a library. Time dimension, yes or no? Yes. Yes. You have only two yes left. I know. We're making sort of an end presentation. We're trying to capture the whole story in a sort of a fairy tale setting. <laughs> We're presenting to everyone. Once upon a time, in a country far, far away, somewhere in a liver-shaped castle. I thought it really went well. So in that regard, I was pleasantly surprised that the virtual environment worked well. I definitely felt to be in touch with the other people that were participating. Getting the people together in such a nice constructive and positive atmosphere, I think it was absolutely terrific to be part of that. Uh, you can feel the energy uh, from the other participants through the screens. Everybody was really enthusiastic. I found it really interesting, really engaging, and also to approach the question from a different perspective. That was unexpected, but I found that very, uh, very, very nice. I think what is the most interesting and very inspiring part is that there are so many people from different areas. Combining all their knowledge uh, helped me very well with answering my question. I want to thank everyone for making it such a nice way to dream together and I hope that all our dreams come true. I look forward to contributing further from the other side of the world. Thank you, everybody, and have a good evening.